Welcome back to 3 Talk. Today we're talking about organ donation. By simply registering as an organ donor, you have the power to save seven lives and improve many, many more. 41 celebrities, including models, comedians, TV and radio personalities and sportsmen, agreed to strip off and take part in the Marie Claire Naked campaign in a bid to raise awareness around organ donation. Please welcome Marie Claire's business development manager Romy Halsinger, model and actress Leanne Liebenberg, model and actress Paul Tuli, and dancer Mafiki Le Rapo. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies. Romy, why did you decide on the organ donation or, or organ foundation? Nolene, a lot of first of all, our naked issue every year has become sort of an institution. And yeah. every year a lot of thought goes into which organization we want to offer a platform for. Um, Really what came across this year is Marguerite Olufsen's story. Marguerite is a fashion photographer and a good friend of Aspasia. And she's a recipient of a heart. And mm. it was a very special story. So from then on, it was just the natural uh, progression to the Organ Donor Foundation. Mm. D does it really make an impact? And I think I've spoken about this mm. uh, on the show before, when we've done uh, the, uh, the naked issue, mm. the yearly naked issue. Does it make an impact? Exponentially. Um, to give you a bit of an example, in February 2012, they had 1,100 odd um, people sign up to become organ donors. And in this month, we've already tripled that to 3,366 organ donors. So it definitely, so definitely make, makes a difference. The photographer who captured all of the pictures for the Marie Claire campaign knows all too well how precious the gift of an organ is. Before she joins us on the line from Cape Town, take a look at this. I was very excited, especially when I heard the concept. I felt enormously blessed to not only be the photographer, but also be part of a project. I received a heart transplant when I was 17 years old, and um, it's been 12 years since my operation. And um, as a young child, I was discovered with a very serious heart disease, and my entire childhood was basically just in and out of hospitals and just yeah, that was my childhood. Working with the celebrities was great because it was really amazing to see so many people coming, um, being on board for the Marie Claire Naked issue, coming and giving us their time and also their name to be part of organ donation. There's many reasons why people are not signing up, but most of the time they're not signing up because they're not thinking about actually about death or not thinking that it would happen to them. This is the most important thing. You don't think what's gonna, you know, you don't think it will happen to you until it's your turn. Welcome on the line from Cape Town, Marguerite. Marguerite, welcome. Hi, Nelly. Yes, hi. Thank you so much for joining us. So, such a pity you couldn't make it uh, into studio, but we completely understand. Did you have any reservations about doing this Marie Claire shoot? Um, Nolene, I have absolutely no reservation. Um, it was such an honor and privilege to be asked to shoot the Naked campaign for Marie Claire this year because it went for a course that was literally close to my heart. <laughs> mm, absolutely, absolutely. Did you, you know, you, you also posed uh, naked, obviously being behind the camera and then in front of the camera, all for a good cause. W was that difficult for you? Um, you know, it, of course it's, it's a bit odd, um, you know, getting naked in front of all the people you, you always work with. But um, in the end, I think everybody's shot was determined before, and when it was my turn, um, it, it was a very it was, it was a very comfortable um, scenario. So mm. it was weird, but it also was for the right reason. Absolutely, were you able because of of your uh, organ don donation and yeah. uh, heart transplant? Were you able to bring, do you believe, something of yourself into the shoot, although you were behind the camera? Well, definitely. I mean, I mean, as as somebody who got 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 given a second chance, I mean, years later to also be part of a project like this, I think I was definitely in a very big way able not to just produce visual images, but also to tell a story. And I think yeah. that was the most important was about the story. Yeah, absolutely, and the photographs are 
absolutely amazing. Thank, thank you so you. much, Marguerite, for joining thank us. You, thank You're you. Welcome, welcome yes, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Leanne, you, why did you decide uh, to do this uh, Marie Claire Naked feature, um, especially I've, with your daughter? Yeah, and I've always wanted to do something like this. And um, the Donor Foundation just jumped at me. I've always wanted to be a don um, an organ donor. Mm. And um, it just felt so natural. And I said yes immediately. And I said, I want to do it with my daughter. They said, um, can we do it as a family? And Nikki, obviously, declined. He's mm. like, no, no, he doesn't want to do it. And, um, <laughs> but he supports us 110%. So yeah. I thought it's something nice for me and Gia to do together. And, um, you know, because there are also there are kids who need the, um, mm. uh, transplants. And, you know, Gia is a donor. She's, you know, I'm a donor, she's a donor, and we, the, the whole family is, and, mm. you know, we were all sitting there listening to everyone's stories. I've got goosebumps, because um, it's, yeah, it's just, it's incredible. It's, I mean, Gia gets my shoes, and someone else gets my organs when I die. You know, I can't take them with me. I don't know why people have such um, a stigma that they don't want to donate or... Mm. They don't want to get involved. I just don't get it. I mean, mm. for me, it's the most natural thing. I guess it's thing. fear. I guess it's fear, really. Just, a lot of I us, it's fear. I just don't think people are just aren't educated, not educated, but just don't know the stories. They don't yeah. know how, I mean, if you look at Marguerite and her donor, how many lives her donor saved, mm. you know, by mm. giving Marguerite a heart, she's, in her doing the shoot and educating a lot of people, mm. she saves millions of lives mm. or hundreds or thousands, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And um, I just think it's unbelievable and mm. it's just something I had to get involved with. Paul? I was more there. First of all, there was Marie Claire and then there was a the fact that this could give me the power to teach somebody out there that they have the power to give life. Mm -hmm. You actually, God has given us the power to give life. So if you lose yours or yours comes to an end, you can provide that for somebody else. I mean, I can't add much onto that. And um, I think as a model and actress, you always look for opportunity to do something different and use yourself, your body, to, um, to have a great body of work figuratively mm -hmm. and um, and do something that's going to help somebody else and if it's going to be shot beautifully then why not as mm. well so it's just it was it was a no-brainer no yeah yeah but I was excited to do it but then I've got my sister the young one that had a valve replacement at the age of two so when I thought of her I said you know what this could be something for not even her somebody else because in the world you see how many kids that needs valve replacement and now he, she had two brain surgeries so what if she needed something and I didn't even know or had an mm. education about so if I could help her I could help everybody else so I mm. said you know what yay for that mm. I'm doing it mm. Mm. you did you did you especially as models did you kind of panic about what am I what am I going to look like I need to go to gym beforehand I need to spruce myself up as Pearl um, you kind of did <coughs> <laughs> I was, no, you know, when the shoot actually happened, I was in Jamaica, so I almost wasn't part of the shoot. Then I got back, I was like, listen, I was booking a flight and I was coming to Cape Town. <laughs> so um, I went through and um, when I was in Jamaica, you know, I, I got a nice tan there. Everything kind of happened naturally. I didn't have to really plan, but I also thought, let my body be what it is, mm. you know what I mean? So that if I ever have to give of it, it's exactly what it is. Let's, let, let's be honest and let's be giving of ourselves so that people can understand that donati donating an organ can't be easy, posing naked can't be easy, and mm. talking about this isn't easy for some people as well. Mm. But let's just somehow, if my body can be part of the conversation, then fine. Mm. Yeah. Well done. Well done, ladies. I think that what you've done is incredibly brave and it is going for such a good cause. So thank you all especially to Marie Claire for coming up with this. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll be chatting to some of the guys who bared all in this year's Marie Claire Naked campaign just after this. But before we go, here's what Bonnie Henna had to say about the campaign. I think all charities are important to support, but this particular one is close to my heart because I've known somebody who's, who I've been very close to who really was in need of, of, a, of an organ. And, uh, you know, he'd been struggling with an illness for a very long time, and it just, my heart broke. And it's only when you, you come that close and, and involved in someone's story like that that you realize what a big, there's such a big need for it. I actually am. I signed up to be an organ donor. Yes. Yeah, a couple of years ago. <gasps> Being naked around strangers. At first, it was a bit like, 
oh so tense. But um, once you take it off, it's off, you know. <laughs> and then you just relax and you I get into it. Um, I could have just carried on shooting. <laughs> it, it got really fun. What I hope the Naked campaign will do for the organ donor organization is just to bring awareness. Um, I think that you can only begin to change something once you're aware of it. And I think maybe people take it very lightly. It's not, I, don't, I haven't met many people who are anti organ donation, they just don't have enough information on it or aren't presented with, a, with enough opportunities to actually sign up. So I really just hope that this, um, this campaign will just magnify the issue and bring it to the forefront of people's minds.